that others put in me? How can I build my trust in God? How can I foster God's trust in me? These are some important questions, especially if the answer is no. If I am not a trustworthy person, you know, what can I do to nurture that trust that others have in me? I will have to start doing things that would build confidence that I can be trusted. How can I build my trust in God? That's just a matter of faith. That's a matter of believing that God is true to his word. How can I foster God's trust in me? Again, I will have to be faithful. He that is faithful in little will also be faithful in much. So don't wait to be faithful when you are tempted with a million dollars. Be faithful with one cent. I heard this story once from Doug Batchelor. He was saying that there was this bus driver who noticed that a certain pastor was coming on his uh, bus each afternoon and for about a week each day he would give him five cents extra on his change and every day that pastor would say here you know you have given me too much you have given me too much you have given me too much day after day and finally after the week was done he said, you know, what church do you go to? You know, I want to come to your church. Based on the fact that the man had been faithful with a few cents. Now, can you imagine how many people had failed that test? So we have to be careful, you know, not waiting to be faithful with this big thing. Because it looks big and it's important. People are also looking at the little things that we are not faithful in. We cannot be trusted with. Now, Friday's section says that we should read Matthew 19, verse 21. Jesus answered, If you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. Mary Lee Jones, Dean of Admissions at MIT, resigned after admitting the resume she submitted 28 years earlier for an entry-level position in the admissions department was filled with lies. According to her resume, Jones had attended and graduated from Albany Medical College, Union College, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, three well-respected schools in New York. In truth, she attended only Rensselaer as a part-time student for just one school year. I misrepresented my academic degrees when I first applied to MIT 28 years ago and did not have the courage to correct my resume when I applied for my current job or any time since. Miss Jones said in a statement posted on MIT's website, I am deeply sorry for this and for disappointing so many in the MIT community and beyond who supported me, believed in me, and who had given me extraordinary opportunities. Since Ms. Jones took the position of Dean of Admissions in 1997, she has widely been considered a guru in the field. She is the author of several books including Less Stress, More Success, in which she writes, Holding integrity is sometimes very hard to do because the temptation may be to cheat or cut corners. But just remember what goes around comes around, meaning that life has a funny way of giving back what you put out. Ask yourself, is there something from Miss Jones's story that I should learn? Are there any compromises in my life that will come back to bite me? How can I live with nothing to hide? Okay guys, we have come to the end of another very interesting and poor packed lesson. I hope that we learned a lot from it and that we'll have a vibrant discussion come Sabbath school. I look forward to seeing you then. Take care and God bless.